United States. It just keeps recurring yeah, theme, this, yeah, this serpent. Absolutely, absolutely. And we have it here? Yeah, and in this case, of course, you've also got to uh, think that um, everybody knows about the Loch Ness Monster, you know? But monsters or entities have been associated with many of the locks in Scotland. They may, to a certain extent, have been trying to reproduce the spiritual entity that they thought lived in the loch. Well, along with all of this serpent mythology, I'm convinced that a structure like this has to have some archaeoastronomy associated with it. When I look at this photo, if you look in the distance, there are those peaks right there. Absolutely. And you notice how they seem to follow the long orientation of the esker here or of the serpent? Yes. I'm wondering if there might be some alignments here. I think it's highly likely. You know our experience has been when we come to ancient sites like this, there's almost always going to be some type of archaeoastronomy involved, some type of alignments with the stars, the heavens, the moon, the planets, and with uh, geographic features. I would like to see if we have some alignments. I have a brand new app on my phone that I can use. Maybe we've got some solstice or equinox alignments. So, you up for it? I think that's a great idea. All right, well, let's do it. I think this serpent mound was intentionally built to align with the peaks of those mountains. I'm taking some basic measurements to determine the orientation of its axis. All right, now I'm gonna pull out the app. The Helios Sun Position app can calculate the position of the sun from dawn till dusk on any day at any time and allows people to track the sun's path from anywhere on Earth. What I'm seeing from here confirms that this mountain is aligned with those mountains, and this app will show me exactly what day of the year the sun passes over that alignment. Here's where the sun rises, yeah. and it's following that track. Yeah. And there is the mountain right there. We're just past the summer solstice. Right. So the sun should rise on those mountains and then make its arc there on the uh, equinox. We definitely have an east-west alignment along this megalithic structure. There's probably other alignments here involving the moon, the planets, maybe the stars. And